This digital story is about Edgar Allan Poe. Poe was born October 9, 1849 in Boston, Massachusetts. Poe is wildly popular for his poetry and short stories. You may recognize some such as The Raven or The Telltale Heart. Even for non-readers, Poe's stories are somewhat enjoyable because of their intensity and the imagery included in them. The picture included is a quote from Edgar Allan Poe that reads, Words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. These words ring true because his works could transfer you to a new reality, one much different from your own. But what is ironic about this quote from Edgar Allan Poe is that his stories and poems were somber and had gothic elements, so there was some type of exquisite horror in that reality. He is the creator of the detective story and is responsible for generations of authors that use his same components. However, none could truly replicate Mr. Poe. Poe's short stories and poems are full of emotion, and while considered different because of their intensity and use of imagery, the feelings they can evoke in the reader are still relatable. This is an example from a love poem that while dripping with gothic elements, in somber tone, still evokes a sense of longing for a long-lost lover. The excerpt from Annabelle Lee reads, But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we. And neither the angels in heaven above, nor the demons down under the sea, can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee, and the stars never rise but I see the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide I lay down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride, in a sculpture there by the sea, in her tomb by the side of the sea. This poem, who the narrator we can assume is Poe, is writing about his love and his bride and how much he misses her because she has either faced some untimely death or has left. And it evokes a sense of longing that even a reader who is young and in high school may just be introduced to this poem can still relate to, as well as older an older audience who can relate to the poem as well. Poe's death was surrounded by the same madness captured in his writing. It is believed that a combination of alcoholism and tuberculosis, which would have been hard to diagnose then because there were not the same medical advances as there are now, of course, caused his sudden death. But it's still quite a mystery. He died on November 17, 1875. It almost seems appropriate that such a mystery surrounds his death. It's like a proper send-off for the master of gothic fiction, mystery, and detective stories.